welcome to a single story, brand new construction home in the south part of Las Vegas. Let's go take a look. So this home is about 16, I'm sorry, about 1850 square feet. It starts at about 380,000, plus lot premium, plus flooring, plus upgrades, plus plus. So you notice the open floor plan. This is the typical thing that's happening right now in your construction. So we have the dining area, and we have the, uh, the great room, and of course the focal point is the kitchen. So notice the furnishings in here. They're all very minimal. Uh, they're designed to make the space look big, okay? Uh, so we do want a big space because you wanna make, make people feel like they're getting a lot for their money. So you've got this beautiful kitchen. Uh, you, granite is popular, but quartz is more popular right now. These uh, little half inch, um, um, pieces of granite are not particularly popular. The most popular thing right now is the two and a quarter inch uh, on the countertops right here, which of course is not a solid two and a quarter inch, it's just the, uh, the edge of it. And then of course, we have these islands that are super popular um, with the overhang. And then when you get inside the kitchen, it's very popular right now to have these drop-in sinks that are undermounted and they're in the island. Uh, it used to be that our kitchen sinks were not in the island, but now, of course, a lot of them are. The dishwasher is right here, and this is really popular. This is an upgrade. What comes with most of these homes is the regular push-in stove. This is the, the drop-in, uh, and this is super popular and an upgrade. And then the other upgrade is, of course, you've got your microwave and your single oven. The, these are all upgrades as well. These beautiful cabinets. So I love these cabinets. They're uh, they're nice and tall. These are the 42 inch cabinets. However, they, you do have that dust collection shelf up there that I am not fond of. I wish that they would take the cabinets all the way to the ceiling. So we're not collecting dust and we have extra storage because we can never have enough storage, right? Okay, so let's go see the rest of the house. Oh, so one of the other upgrades I forgot to mention is that you're going to get is, of course, you have to get the upgrade for the electrical package so you can put your TV on the wall because that's an extra. As I like to tell people, anything you like in a new home model, it's an extra, it's an option. So let's go see the master bedroom. So this master bedroom is really super nice. It's not particularly huge, but it does have this nice little sitting area over here. Uh, something that builders are doing now is they're letting you, as an option, put in the paver patio and the patio cover. So the reason they're doing that is because that way you can wrap it into your loan, okay? So you can finance the whole thing as opposed to uh, closing escrow on your house and then having to pay for, for those extra things outside of escrow. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. So this is a very typical bathroom. It's got the double sink, it's got the tub, it's got the shower. This shower is an upgrade. Notice how large it is. Notice it's got the, uh, the, the, sitting, uh, the sitting area right here. But I do love these showers because I am a shower person. I love that. And I also like that you have the option for the tub. Uh, one of my favorite things for this particular floor plan is that you have a door for the potty, okay? The other thing is that that's nice is, take a look at this, this is one of my pet peeves. I call it the uh, knee removal door. This is not a knee removal door. You can actually use the potty and not have your knees taken off. Okay, the master closet. It's not particularly robust, but it's very usable. It's got a decent size to it. Um, you know, you may want the other person to go use the other, the other closet, but this will be my closet, I'm just saying. All right, let's go see the rest of the house. is that it has the laundry room off the kitchen. So I like that it's not next to a bedroom. Let's get the lights on, here we go. So I like that it's not next to a bedroom, uh, which I think is very handy. Plus I think most of us like it right next to the kitchen. Uh, this kitchen also has a nice little um, pantry right here. It's not a walk-in, but it's a nice space to store your stuff. So let's go see the rest. So this house is a three bedroom. We just saw the master bedroom. Um, so there's another bedroom down here at the end of the hall. You know, pretty nice, spacious little bedroom. It's got a, it's got a nice little walk-in closet, not bad. And what's interesting is if you look up right here, you can see that you've got these transits over the door. 
So the reason for these transits is to keep doors from slamming if you have windows open in the house, which is a nice little feature and a lot of the builders are doing that now. These two secondary bedrooms are sharing a bathroom down here. So this bathroom is very typical. It's got a single sink. And what's the other thing that's very typical is that they have inserts. So this is not tile. This is just a, a fiberglass insert. And uh, it's pretty durable, no leaking. And of course, the best part is you don't have to caulk. You don't have to clean the grout or anything crazy like that. Let's go see the last bedroom. So um, over here, we've got uh, a powder bath which is you know, pretty typical, just the, the um, sink and the toilet. And this is the last bedroom. So this bedroom is, of course, uh, you know, pretty, pretty small, but it's very, very functional. You've got a regular closet. Uh, remember that this is new construction. So when you're buying in a subdivision with new construction, you are dealing with some road noise, um, possibly some, um, some nails in your tires because there's a lot of new construction going on. You're dealing with some dust and that sort of thing. But new construction can be wonderful. You know, that whole new house smell, you get to pick everything for yourself, and that's fantastic. If you have any questions about new construction in Las Vegas, if you have questions about resale in Las Vegas, anything you wanna know about homes in Las Vegas, please uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave us comments, questions, and we'll get back to you, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.